Hey everyone, without a doubt, this Worker Seagull was one of the best blasters in 2023, but I feel like it's lacking a bit of tuning option as for barrel length. Let me explain. I'm your host Dave, welcome to that. This little lack of option, it is not because it is a bad blaster, it's basically that if I remember correctly, with the Worker Harrier, we had the option of putting two barrels, a 310mm and a 370mm on it. Both of them gave us different results with both included spring. And I'm gonna stick to the included stuff with this blaster. I don't wanna go with the optional thing you could buy. But even then, if you were to install a 450mm optional barrel on a Worker Harrier, even with the included spring, you had a gain in FPS, consistency and accuracy. Coming back to the Seagull, I feel like it came with a very good tuned barrel with a 210mm and the 310mm longer barrel is basically maxed out for this plunger volume. Doing some math on this blaster, this plunger volume versus throw and the length of barrel says to me that at 280 millimeter, this configuration with those spring or close are pretty much maxed out. Meaning anything from the 310 to the 370 millimeter will require a spring upgrade and a good one. With a strong spring, you will achieve the acceleration you need to push the dart out of the barrel. But with the included one, you are pretty much maxed out with what you have in the box. But me being me, I want to have a lot more options. And since they included a 310 millimeter barrel with this blaster, which is the exact same barrel as with the Worker Harrier, I might cut myself a custom one. Uh, like I said, I did some math, it was 279 point something millimeter for the optimal maxed out length for this plunger volume running on my formula, but I feel I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna go with my middle rule and here it's rather easy. We have a 210 millimeter barrel and a 310 millimeter barrel. I'm gonna take the other one and remove 50 millimeters from it, so it's gonna be 50 millimeters longer than this one and 50 millimeters shorter than the 310 barrel and then we're gonna do some tests. This shall give me a very good idea of what this thing can do with different barrel in. I am gonna start with the 210 millimeter barrel so we have a good baseline and then we're gonna try the new 260 then gonna compare with the 310. This is the 250 millimeter spring inside. This thing is sealing properly, this was a little on the soft side but I am using ghost art on this thing because I like them, they are pretty regular. Here we have 146 minimum, 150 maximum and 149 average, a little on the soft side but this is probably the ghost art. They hit a little softer but they go very very straight. My new 260 millimeter barrel with ghost dart again on this worker seagull. Let's see what it does to it. Okay, a little risen up, minimum 152, it was a small occurrence, for the rest it was basically 157, 158, pretty much regular. My best guess is it's gonna go to 165-ish average for the next barrel, and you're gonna see the relation here, because we have somewhat of a 5 to 10 FPS increase from one barrel to the other. That is what I call barrel tuning. 
Now let's try the 310 millimeter barrel. Well, as I was saying, 160-ish, 65-ish FPS, we have 161, but we had a couple shots around 163, minimum 156, maximum 165, it is just a small increase telling me that this barrel with the irregularity is slightly too long for this blaster, probably the 280 millimeter would have brought me closer to 165 with this short spring now 280 millimeter spring start with the 210 millimeter barrel Well, that is pretty regular, average of 161, minimum of 159, and a maximum of 165. It is pretty regular, let's say 163 FPS blaster. Let's try with uh, hmm, the 310 this time. 310 millimeter barrel on this seagull with the long spring. Hundred and seventy six average, hundred and seventy four minimum, maximum one seventy eight. This is very regular, meaning you will need a longer spring to overcome this three hundred and ten millimeter barrel. Let's see what my new twenty six centimeter two hundred and sixty millimeter does to this blaster with the long spring. Okay, new 260 millimeter barrel installed let me just check my seal it is good well 169 average you see this is more balanced for this blaster the maximum was 172 and the minimum was 164. i feel this this barrel is more balanced giving me a little more tuning option yeah it was a good idea since i already have a 310 millimeter barrel available yeah it was worth it well looking at this blaster after modification made me think it was worth it two times to cut this barrel to have a shorter one this barrel give me pretty regular fps a good amount above the base fps of the 210 millimeter blaster and just under what the 310 would give me this makes me think this barrel is a better fit for this blaster plus this new silhouette I mean, this look very, very nice on it. Everything fits, everything works. I feel it was worth it and workers should offer like more length, more in between for fine tuning of a blaster without having to open it to swap the spring all the time. I just found it weird that the worker didn't release any new length of barrel for a lot smaller plunger volume blaster that they released. And this thing is really, really good. Since this is my last video for 2023, I want to wish you all a very happy new year. We're going to see each other very, very early in the year. In the meantime, you can always follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Dallonervi. 
please leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content. Don't forget to hit that bell to notify for my latest video. This was Dave Patag. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.